And with that, Blast Pro Series Copenhagen is over. We have waited all year to be here in the Royal Arena in Denmark, and I know it just didn't disappoint. So thank you so much to all 12,000 of you who came to join us in the arena. And of course, all of you guys at home watching. Yes, you and you as well. Stop saying mad things about my dress. I know that you guys do not want this to end. And so therefore it doesn't have to because we have got all the goodness from Thursday's Blast backstage live stream for you to enjoy again, including Adam Savage talking to Astralis, Navi and FaZe Clan and a little bit of me hanging out with Cloud9, NIP and Team Liquid. So do stay tuned for that and we will see you in Bahrain. Welcome to Blast Backstage. My name is Frankie Ward. It's good to have you guys here. We've got a, a massive day planned for you. I get the pleasure of talking to NIP, Cloud9 and Liquid. I'm joined by the lads from Astralis. I'm joined by Navi. I'm joined by, well, half, a, a third of the of the FaZe Clan roster here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, best break ever. Oh shit, we're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, older and fatter. Uh, <laughs> you know, backstage boys. Yeah, uh, speak for yourself. The, what, the backstage boys. Yeah. Well, Sanji's gone. That is what the Blast Pro Series is all about. So basically all you need to do is win and then you feel good. Yeah. Well, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. That's it. There happy Halloween. The in the room. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Also, uh, happy birthday to Potter. Oh, it's Potter's birthday. Oh. Spooky. Happy birthday, <laughs> Count Zero. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to your big round boss for Count Zero, guys. Do you have any feelings prepared for if you win tomorrow or this weekend? Nope. I don't see myself there. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying... Like in the distant future, right? Yeah. I can't go on till I'm 50. That's impossible. Or is it? I don't know. I, I don't know. I kind of want to see you try. First player go. That's the main question. Surely you're not going to check now. Still playing anti flash There comes the first one. He knows there's more. He can raise the alarm to his team. One, two, just about. Beautiful stuff for Dupree. Uh, that's just going on our show. What's that? It, like, you know, like, why wouldn't it bring me? That's the nature of the scene. You're a bunch of gossips. It's fine. I'm one of you. <laughs> You're thank you, man. Bro. We really struggled to find anything. Uh, <laughs> this is before the side part. Like this is when you had the sense parting. So. <laughs> and he's just in the angle. He's waiting for it. Timing is everything. He's going. Oh! It can't be real. Didn't see anybody landing the triple right to the smoke. I've never seen anything like it. And now, at least they're gonna get the bomb plant, but FaZe are being robbed once again. Naf, he's still in play in this round. On the other side is Rain, and he wants more. Naf, have you no mercy? He's gonna pick up an ace in the round. When I was younger playing, I was hoping like I could get like a sick highlight and have like Anders or like similar casting so they can go off. So, yeah, just scratch that off my bucket list. How does it feel to be a legend? Pretty good actually, but my score is getting worse and worse, so I don't know how I got here. <laughs> yeah, where's it? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. When you turn 26, it doesn't matter. When you turn 26, you'll also get one. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did. did. Never eaten barbecue to Limp Biscuit before. Um, don't go anywhere. Why would you? It's Blast Backstage. We'll see you in a few. Oh, oh dear. All right. Hello oh, and welcome to the Royal Arena in Copenhagen. Uh, I'm your host, Adam Savage, and I'll be giving you all the latest news and updates surrounding the Blast Pro Series tournament, as well as catching up with our desk hosts, our experts, and the teams and players as well. Now, yesterday, uh, six of the world's count biggest Counter-Strike teams. <laughs> Scrawny looks like Didn't Scrawny long, looks... Eh? <laughs> we'll get on to scrolling very shortly. Uh, headed to Copenhagen to join us at Blast Backstage and compete in tomorrow and Saturday's penultimate 2019 Blast Pro Series tournament uh, before the final taking place, the global final taking place in December in the kingdom of Bahrain. It's good to have you guys here. We've got a, a massive day planned for you. That Before I go and introduce you to this wonderful group of handsome gentlemen and here. Orcs. And orcs. And all. He's a goblin. Uh, <laughs> Machine Scrawny Anders, Moses, Henry G, and similar. Uh, I want to take a look uh, at and see what's coming up over the next few days of Blast Pro Series and look at what this tournament is all about. Take a look at this. At Blast Pro Series, six of the world's best teams collide in an action packed format. 
teams face off against each other in a best-of-one map format on the main stage, where three games take place at the same time, guaranteeing that you will see your favorite team play in the arena. After the five group stage rounds, the top two performing teams with the most points will go straight to the grand final. It's played in a best of three map format, where three maps are picked, and the first team to win two maps takes home the title of Blast Pro Series Champion, the coveted Blast Trophy, and 125,000 US dollars in prize money. The third place team will get to play one of the teams already knocked out of the tournament in a show match called Blast Standoff. Here, they will get to pick the opponent from one of the knocked out teams and battle for $20,000 in an exciting one versus one format where the team with the highest elimination score takes home the victory. You can tune in from home or join us in the arena for a Counter-Strike experience you won't forget. So that is what the Blast Pro Series is all about. I quite like the video. It gives you, gives you a good idea of what the actual tournament is and what is it? You're right we're there? Not, we're not laughing at you, Sam. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Emla. He's got just half the corner, of a face. Right? Any, any mistake I make, it's okay, because I can just look at you and be like, I mean, it could be worse. Yeah. Yeah. I could be scrolling right now. Um, but uh, that's what the Blast Pro Series is all about. If you want to know what goes on at a Blast tournament, take a look at this. So welcome to Copenhagen, voted best, voted best city to visit for travel in 2019 by Lonely Planet. This city really is the epitome yeah. of Scandi Court. Indeed. Okay. Then. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. Uh, from the... From... From... A tiny little Midwestern town. Yeah. From, yeah. from the <laughs> iconic... Listen, it's Beer City, USA. Uh, yeah. Look at that. From the iconic... I want to pronounce this correctly. Nhaven? I think it's Nhaven Harbour. Uh, cutting edge design to the new meatpacking district, uh, which is full of really cool contemporary bars and indie no, spaces. There's plenty dare. to do and see here. Yeah. Uh, and let's not forget Copenhagen, of course, as well as a hub for emerging Counter-Strike, which even has a government initiative to help to develop uh, and envelop esports into Danish culture as well. I like that a lot. So sit back and get your, get your higgy, 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 I've been on my script here, Hig, H Y G E. How would you pronounce it? Hig. Heeg on yeah. while we uh, update you with, uh, with the latest news from the Blast Pro <laughs> Series tournament, <laughs> Copenhagen. Um, right, let's get started. I'm joined today by, you've heard, you've heard their, their silky, dulcet tones already. Uh, let's introduce our, our wonderful uh, cast here with me on the sofa. Machine, Moses, uh, Scrawny, yeah, Inga Scrawny, and Assembler and Henry G. Lads, what is going on? Welcome to Copenhagen, baby. I think you yes. need to answer this one, Scrawny. What's going on? Well, I'm, oh, happy Halloween. For happy well, Halloween. You know, that's it. There happy Halloween. in the room. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. Also, uh, happy birthday to Potter. Oh, it's Potter's birthday. Oh, spooky. Yeah. yeah spooky. He was born on Halloween. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, loads yeah. more aim challenges. Chat on your way right after this. <laughs>
obviously, we talk, I mean, Australis are the team that I think everyone is going to be here to watch. Um, what, a year, what a year it's been for those guys. How, how, I mean, do you think them competing at home as well, in front of a home crowd, how much does that kind of uh, boost morale and give them a, kind of a bit of a win in their sails coming into this? They've always had a tough time with yeah. home crowds, even like even nearby, even when they go to like Jim Malmo, like just right over the uh, right over the bridge. It's uh, it's never been fun for them. No. It's Last a return year. to the days of old. Yeah. When they were so good at uh, choking every event. And yeah. people forget that. Yeah. <laughs> people forget that they used to be a team of chokers and now all of a sudden they're the most dominant team won four majors and all that but uh, once upon a time I think last I think last, here last year they made it into the show the standoff match like the kind of like the I think they were like cool. fourth place or something but yeah. missed out on that final and they've been kind of dominating up to that point so hopefully I think it's the one missing trophy in their cabinet actually I think the, the, the furthest they've run on home soil at least in a blast it's in Copenhagen was when they had like Dennis standing in yes. and it was like yep. that's exactly really it, awkward. Wasn't it? yeah <laughs> it was like that's the, the most successful they've been was with yeah. a full yeah. on yeah. Dupree was hoping yeah. yeah Dupree was hoping an insane orping. that's when we came up with the worst nickname in Counter-Strike history give it to me the ah. bad librarian Oh, yeah. the, it's That's like right. a bad library. It's a, like a cheap porn oh, flick, yeah. and it was yeah. Fun, it it yeah. does put a tinkle in the dingle when you hear that. <laughs> no, but this has just been blast all along. <laughs> Playing 4D chess with us, making sure that uh, you know there could be no <laughs> conflict of interest. Astralis aren't winning our tournament. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on. That's a good point. Oh, oh man. Semler's back. Yeah, Semler is off back. The oh, it's, 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 good, it's good to have Semler last year as well. You came, you came back as a surprise thing to everyone here. You turned up last. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how much of a how much of an experience was that coming into the arena and having the the crowd welcome you with open arms like they did? That was fantastic, man. One of my fondest memories by far. Yeah. It was definitely uh, an experience. Everyone loved uh, you three, Anders, Moses, and, and and similar casting together as well at the uh, trio. It was sick. It was sick. We had a blast. Yeah, we yeah. cancelled that though. Yeah, not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> that <would do> it. <laughs> Sam and I are gonna be taken over. They, yeah. Those guys gave it a pretty good go, but I don't know. I, I didn't like it. New game in yeah. town. Yeah, new game in town. Is that how you want to play that? <laughs> I've got an actual Brit now. We have a guy who sounds like a Brit now. I found yeah. the real deal. Here we go. And uh, we got more tattoos on this side. So I mean, yeah. we're, we're, already, we're already we're already right. rebranding. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you like you know, the voice? You're, you're in a good position here, yeah. <laughs> Talk about um, a different kind of challenge: the Omen challenge. Uh, this happened uh, recently. I know Moses and as you guys. Uh, were the casting extraordinaires for this uh, this badger? How uh, how how was the experience? How was the thing as well? Um, I mean, can you give us a bit of a rundown of the structure of the actual challenge itself, uh, Moses? Uh, yeah, it was it was um, what six pros and two amateurs had like simple device. Nico, Rain, um, we're all there. NBK, uh, one more. I actually can't remember. Do you remember who it was? I don't know if you even followed me. Simple? I mean, Did you say simple? I said simple. He was all the right. first one I said. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, no, the group stage was was like um, it was a little bit of a different format. Um, group stage. There was like a group stage for this one v one event where four players would play like in a free for all for just three rounds, and then they added up all the scores and. Depending Depending on like what you did, if you got a knife kill as extra points, one kill as extra points, utility was an extra point. Um, and they had some like different prizes mixed in. If you knife someone, you got like an extra five hundred bucks or something like that. And then it seeded them into a bracket, and then we just did a normal one on one bracket from there. And it was a completely custom map, which was really cool. A couple of guys just created it out of nowhere. Okay. Um, and then I think the big, the really fancy thing was it was one of the like one of the prettiest sets that we've probably ever yeah. worked on. And I mean, we've we've been in that E League studio as well, so I mean, th th this was like one of those like really cool, gorgeous sets, and they did a lot of AR. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looked amazing. Yeah, it was, it was I mean, we, really cool. We have actually got a, v, a VT of, of, of the, the experience. Hell. So let's see how your, your roundup compares to this professionally made edit. Let's have a look at yeah. this. Ooh. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Timing is everything, and he's not going to miss that shot. He's got the angle again. They're just committed to that fight. That's so bold. Could have easily been the kill. He's been able to catch him out in the open a couple times. Finishes him off. Thirty thousand for the first place for the winner. Simple's got the right idea. Oh, there it is—the thirty thousand dollar shot. I mean, it looked amazing. Simple, worthy winner as well. Yeah. Um... A mic's on. I hope so. Where, where the, there you go. Okay. One, two. Yeah. There you go. Um, there go. Yeah. Obviously, he's like he's he's been is. considered the best player in the world for like for for a while now. So yeah, well worthy winner. He played he played well. I think the fun thing was Device almost got beat um, by by one one of these one of the amateurs. I think in the quarterfinal came within like one round <laughs> wow. of, of actually Electronic beating Device. Um, Electronic was the last one. Yes, yeah, yes, it was. Indeed. It took me like three minutes, but I remembered. I, <laughs> six, six names. Got it. You didn't even remember. Good you job, probably Anders. saw his yes, name flash up on the screen. That's actually I actually thought I could do that, and and I was looking for it the whole time. 
and I still couldn't do it. So, but. Um, I, I think the cool thing was we saw it a couple times. They were able to like bring up that map in 3D, and that tech yeah. is like so cool because I know we've always talked about like I, I know you and the analysts, and you know when I used to be on analyst desk a little bit more often, to be like, how cool would it be if we could actually bring up like a 3D map and yeah. be able to actually help viewers visualize what we're what we're discussing? And that was exactly what they were able to do. Um, so I mean that that'll be a really cool tool in the future that HP can or Omen can provide uh, to to future events if if that gets involved where or even just content like imagine mm. a player talking through like one of his clutches like that um which which would just be a sick sick way to, to show yeah, it yeah super yeah, cool yeah and what do you think of the, the 1v1 v1 v1 kind of format do you think it, it, did it i mean did you i think it? i think it was a cool new format a new way of trying things it's obviously supposed to be a little bit more fun and as we all know nobody's ever had issues trying new formats in counter-strike yeah <laughs> i'm joined by navi what's going on guys how are you amazing amazing just just chilling out having a good time of course. Is it good to be back here in Copenhagen? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so relaxed. So relaxed. Are you, I mean, uh, with regards to Copenhagen, obviously last year, uh, you guys were champions here. Um, so is it good to be back knowing that you're going to be performing in front of this 12,000 strong crowd? I'll come to you, Simple. You are on the team last year. How was it? <laughs> it was great. It was good. Yeah, it does. Is the the Royal Arena must be quite a cool place to compete as well. It's quite a, a magnificent venue. Yeah, there was a lot of fans. Yeah, pretty nice. We've changed the rosters changed a little bit since the last time we saw you. Uh, we've got your uh, Guardian. You're here as well now, buddy. How's it going? Um, team on Team Navi. Is it good to be competing and working with the guys here? It's amazing. Yeah, you seem that you fit in straight away. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, Blade, you as well. Um, obviously, with the guys here, um, are you looking forward to competing here in Denmark uh, jo uh, with, with being on the roster with Team Navi? Yeah, uh, actually, I'm looking forward for any event. It is always exciting and it's nice yeah. to compete. And I think uh, we can go. We can show a good result here. Nice. Okay. I think we didn't find a lot of mistakes after Dreamhack Malmo, but after the last tournament, when they finished last place, I think. All of us uh, saw that we had a lot of stuff to fix and to do, and yeah, we just we just here to test our new game after we fixed our mistakes after Turkey. When things when things do um, don't go well and they kind of don't go your way, is it is it hard to get back up and, and or is it quite is it quite a good motivation to kind of go? Do you know what? Next time round, the only way is up from here. How do you kind of get the team back together again and go forward? I mean, it's hard both ways. I obviously, we don't want to end last, but sometimes it happens. But at the same time, it, it's positive. You find a lot of mistakes that you can fix for the future. So yeah, nothing to be super sad about. Of course, you don't want to be the last, but yeah, there's, of there's like 100 more turns. So you need to fix your mistakes and keep. There's, lo there's loads of time. Yeah. Uh, we've got to take another break. But after this, uh, we've got lots more coming up with Navi. Um, don't go anywhere. Why would you? It's Blast Backstage. We'll see you in a few.
Um, we we have uh, we have a fun uh, little thing to put together as well. We're, we're calling this Blast from the Past. Okay, so of course this year at, at Blast events, you guys have had some incredible plays and experiences, and we've actually got a few of them now that we're going to share with you guys at home, and you can see them too. Um, and uh, we're going to get you. We're going to show them to you one at a time, and just kind of get your feedback on them afterwards. Uh, here's the very first one. Have a look at this. Often not too much in this spot, so it should be quite strong. He's looking the way, the right time. No, the timing. Oh no, you hate to see that. Now the pressure's on automatic. Russian Cajun B. The only players left. They are being bled, and they bleed profusely here on overpass on this CT side so far. Oh man, it's happening again. Flamey with another kill, just finding a good timing. Oh god, it's. It's just not, it's not looking good. Oh my god. This round was just an, a catastrophe for Cloud9. I mean, dominating on Cloud9 there. It was in Miami, right? It was in Miami, yeah, an overpass, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, good memories of that, of, of, of Miami and being there play, competing against, uh, against uh, Cloud9? Oh, I think <laughs> no, it, was last game. it was better memories for Guardian and Face Clan <laughs> <laughs> on this blast. Yeah. It was, yeah, that's maybe. right. That's why he's like, yeah, maybe. I'm, t I'm wearing the Navi colors now. I think they beat us on Inferno. Uh, Flamey, pleased with your performance? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, not really. Could do no, better. better. And welcome to you, lads. You just joined us here. Thank you. How are you? Good. Uh, good, yeah. Yeah, feeling good? <gasps> Absolutely. Everyone astonishing. Seen, uh, ast astonishing. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys looking forward? You've already qualified for this. Um, one of four teams already in. Um, looking forward to the global finals in Bahrain. Been there before? Is it first time that you're no, going? No, first time. First, first time. time. Okay. I think it's the first time we're in like in. Yeah, no, we've been in Dubai once. Okay. Twice. Some of you. Some of us have been in Dubai playing, but okay. that's like a long time ago. But apart from that, I think it's. Uh, and we played outside in Dubai. I heard it was yeah. quite Big warm. It was really warm behind, behind us. We were waiting for the sun to go down. Yeah. And we could yeah. Play. It was quite. Fun. <laughs> Wasn't uh, there just like like fans blasting like everything yeah. set up? Like, yeah. Uh, I was uh, sick for uh, two weeks after because the fans were blowing behind us and because it was so warm, uh, we had to have fans behind us blowing like they were these it big was containers. Like freezing, like, like, yeah. Wow. So, yeah. yeah, so I was sick for was like two weeks after. We had one and big air conditioned unit per player. Yeah. Oh my pretty cool. God. But hopefully this time it'll be a bit, bit better conditions. Maybe hopefully, inside. yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, in, yeah, maybe inside. Surely that's, surely that's going to happen. Yeah, surely. When are we, we going to have a Counter Strike tournament in full rain? That'll be pretty cool. That will be, yeah, that will be cool. Like what, what, it's just pouring down yeah. on you while you're playing. Wow, yeah. okay. No. We obviously, the, 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 over the year, you guys have had some incredible performances, plays as well. Um, we've got some of them actually. We're, we're calling it the blast from the past. A few of the, a few of the, kind of the key moments um, for you guys. We're going to show them kind of one at a time here. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, here's the first one we have coming up. Uh, you can note the numbers. There we go. Kill Dream gets the fresh mag in. Doors being watched by Magis. Kara swings it. And, oh, he managed to. He got it. Yeah, it was too late though. Dude, 1v2. Very close. Smoke fades in the oh. face of Device. He blasts Kill Dream away. Of course. Bomb a quarter of the way gone. He's in a, uh, he's Roman's eventually going to have to tap oh. it. It's a flashbang with it. Door swings so he knows where Device is. And in anticipation of a push here, which is exactly what Roman tries. Sick. Device next level. He's smart. So smart. Just read, smart. It, read, it, read it like a book there. Smart. You see that device guy is very smart. Yeah, smart, smart, guy. smart cookie. Smart yeah, cookie. No, it's, it's from watching this guy in practice all the time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank Especially you. Especially at the lower bomb side, I swear it's every practice at least once, maybe twice. Yeah. Yesterday yeah, it was with true. the pistol. The, cl the clutch king himself. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It's crazy. Yeah. What was what was Madrid like as an experience? Madrid was a cool place to go. You enjoyed competing there as well. Yeah, it was quite good. I think that. Uh, Honestly, the, the thing that stands out for me is losing the grand final and mm -hmm. like the feeling after losing that grand final, it was pretty bad. If mm -hmm. I remember correctly, yeah. everyone was so, uh, we were so frustrated with ourselves. Um, so, so that's what stands out the most to me, which is kind of sad mm -hmm. um, in sort of way, but because I think it was a cool event. Um, Rip news trick. Did we lose the new streak? I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we was lost it like 20, end. was it 20 something? Was yeah. it 31 0. 31 30 1 0. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then ends just arced us out of the server. <laughs> we got arced out the server. Yeah. yeah. Who's always this? Yeah. <laughs> Who's arced this? I mean, 31, <laughs> 31 0. Is, it's not bad, is it? I mean, nice. it's, it's okay. It could have been better. You could, you could, you could, like it should have been better. I like that. Um, the pine glass is always half full, Dupree. I like that. This is the Betway Aim Challenge. Oh, epic. 
Whoa. epic in nature. Was that it? Was it just, that it? I'm really disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the fa- I must I be the fastest I hyped, time. Yeah. I think I hyped it up. Yeah, I hyped it up a lot. <laughs> um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to watch through uh, Magisk's, uh, uh, his whole, his whole, uh, <laughs> his whole, his whole um, uh, experience with this. Um, how did you find it first and foremost? Don't tell us the score, obviously, but how did you find it? I don't know. It's the first time I played, so yeah. it was really difficult. I don't know where to look, so yeah. Okay, yeah. It was quite difficult, actually, to okay. be honest. I Let's tried it two times in total. That's it, and you got that. Good. I mean, I've seen, I've seen the time. It's, it's, it's really good. You well, did well. I did well. Or did he? Uh, let's see how we got on, uh, guys. Let's have a look at this, and let's analyze uh, the nuts out of it as well. Here we go. Miss. Miss. <laughs> oh, okay. It's all about the headshots. I think you know the technique. Yeah. I think you have yeah, seen it. The wrong way. Yeah, I've seen others do it, but, I, but I he tried it before. He had a warm up, so obviously he was a little bit. Ah, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this room for me. Where to aim. This room for me is the toughest because they, they just they spawn so randomly. Yeah, the room. I run out of bullets as well. Yeah. It's not good. That's I said, get the reload in. How did you shoot events? You didn't even aim at it. Oh, it breaks off. Yeah, it's a circle of death. Oh, okay. Look, I'm also <laughs> running the wrong way. Like, if I did it again, I could do it 10 seconds faster. Yeah. You think You think so? I could. Of course. <laughs> Okay, 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 there we go, there we go, okay, so. I just lost a second there as well from not being able to press. Oh, I know, it's, it's annoying, I did the same thing. Okay, right, cool. So, uh, I am delighted. So, we kind of already saw the score there, right, guys? So, um, I can I can confirm. Now, this is when the wire really plays an important part in this. This is you really... put it behind there. I can, behind the chair. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so, I can I can reveal uh, that, uh, Megas, your score was 50 seconds, 0.56 should we give him a round of applause, guys? There we go. I'm gaming myself. There you go. Applause as well. There you go. Yeah, always cheer for yourself. So you're literally um, going to be tucked just in here. Um, oh, just beat Glaive as well by like a second. Yes. I love that. Uh, I'll try and squish you in there. Um, I love that. We're going to lose you very shortly. But before we do, um, there is something very important to share with you all. Um, I think we're going to ask the cue the music now as well. Uh, here at Blast, we have deemed that sometimes we want to honor uh, one player in particular um, across the way who we deem to be of legendary status. Someone, one of you has has entered this Blast Hall of Fame into the legendary status, um, who goes above and beyond, who always delivers. And one of you has taken this crown, is going to be de- ordained, if you will, into this Hall of Fame. And I can reveal that this legend is... Dupree! You have made it to legendary status here! Here at Blast! Blast Pro Series. We have a we have a card here as well. I think we have a card here as well. I mean, um, do we have it down here somewhere? I think this is it. Oh yeah, it's the card. This is, the card. This is, this right. is your oh, card. legendary. You have entered the legendary status. And, I'm not. and uh, congratulations! So you. Uh, yeah. you have yeah. made it, Dupree. Really uh, how do you feel, buddy? How's, how does it feel to be a legend? It feels good. I've completed. Do you have an MVP in Blast? No, no, I don't. Oh, okay. But I, <laughs> I can't comp- oh, well, can complain. I'm happy now. You are happy. This is all I needed now. You've entered I can retire now. I think from this point onwards, you are considered a legend. That's in, good. A blast. I'm so. also the oldest guy on the team, so... Does it, well, does it feel... Ah, uh, uh, but he's always just the coach. He's just the coach. <laughs> just the coach. Uh, we've got loads more coming your uh, coming your way at home and uh, for you guys as well. Um, we've got to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere, though. Loads more blast backstage with the guys from Astralis right after this.
Hello there and welcome back to Blast Backstage. Uh, it's been an incredible day so far. We've had the Casas on, we've had Astralis, we've had Na'Vi, and now we're joined by two super fans. Frederick and Casper, welcome to the sofa, guys. Thank you. Thanks. How, uh, how does it feel to be here? Blast Backstage, you've just, I think you just had a, a brief kind of meet and greet with Astralis. Is it, it must be a very cool experience to meet the guys face to face. It is. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, so you're, you're a big Astralis fan, Frederick. Yeah. Uh, Casper, you too, but wearing a Cloud9 shirt, a bit weird. Yeah, you know, you gotta gotta choose sometimes. There's, yeah. there's many shirts, there's many teams, but today I chose this Cloud9 shirt. I like that. You know, what was in the wardrobe, you felt you felt today was the Cloud9 day. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's fine. Um, earlier on today, we had lots of our, we had lots of our, our casting talent uh, um, here at the show uh, give our Betway Aim Challenge a go. So, we're now going to watch those plays with timings. This is the Betway Aim Challenge. Alrighty, okay. Camera. Uh, <laughs> we have got uh, we got all our different people that gave this a go earlier on this morning, our different kind of lovely talent and casters and desk hosts and such. Uh, the first person to give this a go was Machine. Um, how do you rate Machine? Where do you think, do you think Machine, I mean, looking at the board here, we've got like a talent board here as well. There's me rocking the, ro rocking the swamp, kind of the swamp bottom, like, runt of the litter um, time there at 122. Obviously Maniac at the top, there were 47 seconds. Um, machine, are we, th are we thinking he could do pretty well? Where do you think he's going to sit there? Do you think he's any, any, are you thinking between certain people? Where do you think he might go? Ooh, I think uh, either under or over Launders. Okay, so you think he might be un around Launders this time, yeah, 51 seconds. Okay, uh, let's take a look at Machine's Betway Aim Challenge. Here we go, kicking things off. It's Machine. Okay. He looks very serious. It's all about those headshots, I thought. It's, it's yeah, you get those. Okay. He switched it up. The reload is, is all about timing. Oh, nice. Oh, distance. So far, so good, lads. It's looking all right. Few hiccups, but looking good. This room's the hardest to clear. There we go. In, in, in. Into the cupboards, into the hallways. Oh, the reload, the reload. Nice. Look, he's so, he's so in the moment. Oh, you see that there as well. Oh. Missing one. Bad on time. Unlucky. Final room. He hasn't reloaded. Oh no, six bullets left. Can he do it all? Oh no, he has to change up. Oh, oh no, he's going to have to reload. Get in there, get in there, Alex. Machine. He goes, he goes, he goes, and there we go. A time. Okay, so you thought he was going to sit between launders, either above or below launders. I can reveal that if my cord stretches this far, uh, machine got a time of one zero four fifty four. So he kind of sits just in there uh, between Bardolf and Frankie, who's going to be on later on during the second half of the uh, of Blast Backstage. Um, <laughs> one oh four, one oh four. They're not not too bad, but I think others may have done better. Yeah. Uh, next up is Scrawny. Have a look at this puppy. Here we go. This is Scrawny. Let's see how he gets on in the Betway Aim Challenge. <laughs> Scrawny the Orc. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone watching. If you've just tuned in, don't be afraid. It's just Scrawny. From Lord of the Rings, it looks like. Okay. Now, so far, he seems to me like he has gone a lot faster. A yeah. lot quicker. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah. A lot faster. A lot faster. He's really, and I think he's definitely not having to reload as much. Ooh, a few loose shots there. Okay, he's through. He's into the final room. This is what it's all about. The, the orc with a full magazine is tearing it up. Oh, look at this. Okay, someone in his downtime and practicing. That was epic. That was epic. Okay, okay. As you can see from that, significantly, significantly better than machine school. Scrawny, you probably saw this already, but Scrawny did it in a whopping 49.92 seconds. He goes just below Pimp and just above Launders. Launders is going to hate that from his, <laughs> uh, his commentary partner there. Okay, so next up, we've got Henry G. Um, where do you think he's going to sit in the ball? Henry G, we know what he's like. You know, the guy's, 
He's he's got talent, but where do you think he's going to go? Yeah, he's experienced. He should better. He should definitely be towards the top. Do you think yeah, so? I think so too. Do you think so? I'm. I'm wondering where. I'm hoping it's between Lorna's and Potter because there's a lovely gap there that I can go in, but I have yeah. no idea. He should be above, though. He yeah, should. I think too. I think he's just above Lorna's. Just above Lorna's. Okay. Yeah. Let's find out. Henry G, this is his Betway Aim Challenge. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Let's check it out. All right. Straight in. Okay. Oh, Henry. Oh, oh. Hen oh Henry. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh he restarted. He restarted. You guys watching at home as well, get on the chip, get on the chats. Where do you think that uh, Henry G is going to sit in our leaderboard, our talent leaderboard? Another question: Will anyone ever get a worse score than me? Probably not. Oh, hey, it's okay. I'll take the wooden spoon all day. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I was I was using the touchpad. Never used the mouse. Joking. Of course. <laughs> Am I? Um, here we go. Um, so there we go. Oh, we got. They're making progress now. This room here seems to be a key one as well for the reloads. Uh, using that event as well as your chance to reload weaponry ahead of that last room is absolutely paramount. Right. This is it. It's reload time. Getting into the final room. There we go. Henry G's going round. He's in the circle of death. There we go. There we go. There we go. The headshots are everything here. It's looking good, boys. It's looking good. Last one. Smash that button. There we go. Okay. So. It was pretty good. What do we think? Decent? Not bad. Yeah. His movement is pretty bad, but his aim is okay. There we go. There we go. You heard it right there from Frederick. <laughs> he is the guy. If you have any CS queries or concerns, visit Frederick. <laughs> He's the knowledge. We call him the mainframe here. Okay. Uh, okay. So um, Henry G, conveniently, a score of 53.47, which is just in that little beautiful gap there. Cheeky. Henry G there, just above Potter, just below Launder. So he did well, did very, very well there. But we've got two more players who gave this a go earlier on. Uh, next up, we have got Monsieur Semler. Uh, Monsieur Semler here uh, with his, uh, his uh, Betway Aim Challenge. Uh, where do we think Semler's going to go on the leaderboard, guys? Oh, he's going to go a bit low. Do you think? Yeah. I have no he's idea. He's been out of commission. He's... <laughs> He's been on the subs bench for a while. I think it's. Uh, I think it's. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Will he get a lesser score than one point two two for no. his sake? Not that bad. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Casper. You can come back. <laughs> Never. Uh, okay. Well, let's, let's hop into um, Sembler's go. Such a tall man, you can't even see the top of his face. Um, there we go. Not a bad start, but he's using a lot of bullets. A lot of ammo is being uh, being uh, just lost to empty shots there. Okay. This is the room for me. This is the key room. The office. The hot desking area. What do you reckon so far, guys? No. <laughs> Not great. Okay. Oh, it's a lot of bullets lost there. A lot. There we go. One, one, two more. There we go. Okay, nice. Into the next room. Here we go. Here we go. Right. It's all about getting through these janitor closets as quickly as possible and saving that ammunition. Okay, we got... Oh, I love it. you took a sneaky back way there. Into the vent. It's all about the reloads. We go into the final circle of death room. Here we go. He's around, he's around, he's around. It's looking good. Ah, there we go. Last view. Oh, the ammo. Oh. Oh, no. You've been knifed. Bad, bad. And there we go. Okay. So we have a score which is not i mean i think we can all agree it wasn't the best wasn't the best round oh. definitely not we definitely don't think so where do we think he's going to sit now any ideas uh right over frankie i think yeah spot on <laughs> spot on he is literally just we've got similar just above frankie i'm gonna try and change this up without causing an absolute uh nightmare here for oh there we go and that's why they call me the train wreck don't go anywhere we'll see you in just a bit with phase clan here on blast backstage
Uh, welcome, guys. Um, good to have you all here. The team is back together. Hello. Um, welcome back. Yeah, I said we said to Olaf and Brokey, welcome to Copenhagen. Is it good to be here competing a blast Copenhagen? You're looking forward to getting out into the Royal Arena over the weekend. Yeah, for sure. It's always been great playing in that arena. So many fans, the atmosphere. Yeah, it's great playing in this arena, definitely. Is it, um, I mean, the impact, because you, you guys, was it, it was Miami you guys won earlier this year, wasn't it? Was it yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was you Miami. Won, yeah, Miami. Um, obviously, it feels amazing to, to, to win anything, but I mean, to, to be there in front of the whole fans, I mean, 12, 12 and a half thousand sold out crowd. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, does that add pressure or is that like, a, do you kind of enjoy every single moment that happens? I don't think there's pressure, just you're enjoying it like, you're used to, or like not anymore. <laughs> oh, you haven't like been playing that often now in arena, so we kind of just lost the feeling. But it's just like enjoying that moment. Basically, there's no pressure playing in front of them. Yeah, and you guys have you guys have qualified already for the the, the Bahrain Global Finals. Uh, Rain, how does that make you uh, you feel that you guys are guaranteed going out into, into December to the, to the Global Finals? Uh, it's nice, of course. Uh, it's gonna be nice for the vacation place before. Uh, what? For the vacation. Vacation, no, but not for the tournament. <laughs> it's gonna be hot, you know. It's cold in Norway, and it's some and it's some sun. It's some yeah, some winter sun. Yeah, yeah, winter sun adds, definitely adds to it. We're saying I think I think it's gonna be pretty hot over there this time this time of year. It's pretty toasty. Yeah, right. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, I say congratulations. You got engaged recently. Yes, That's I good. did. Thank you. Congratulations, man. Congratulations, thank, congratulations you. Oh. thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly the team say, "Oh yeah, yeah, well done." <laughs> um, how um how I mean that, that that amazing experience. I mean, you must be overjoyed that she said yeah for firstly, um, but uh, looking forward to that. What what's to come in the future? I bet. Excuse me. You're looking forward to the future ahead now. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. It's gonna be. It's nice. Yeah, it's future is looking good. bright. This future is definitely looking bright. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, we've had a, a few roster changes since, uh, since you know in 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 phase uh, over the last um, few months or so. Uh, how was it with this gentleman coming into the mix? How has it been for the team? Awful man. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Going out in group. <laughs> yeah, I was kidding. Both, Just a uh, good guy. Brings a lot of motivation and hunger to our team. Was yeah, a lot of experience as well. Definitely adds to it. How has it been joining the guys? Have they been welcoming? It's pretty good. Uh, they treated me like kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> they treated me really well. Uh, it's really, it's really cool. Like with them, they have a lot of experience and they're really talent. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's pretty nice to play with them. It's a new experience, new challenge. Yeah, feels like there's, a, there's definitely a good, a good, um, a good vibe in the team as well. When seems very kind of like keen to be here, playing together as well, which definitely helps, I guess, performance-wise. Yeah, it's like having an atmosphere in the team helps a lot. It's just like you always have to like stay positive in the team, like no matter what, which we. Kind of didn't have it before that often, especially like towards the end, which yeah. led us to obviously roster changes and everything. But like right now, obviously like every like kind of new team has this honeymoon period, like everything is good in the team, like good atmosphere. But I just hope you're gonna keep that up and you're gonna have it uh, moving forward as well. Um, we've got um, we've got a, a segment coming up as well called Blast from the Past. And we had a chance to look at um, some of some other the teams we've had on today, some of their kind of their highlights across the season. And we've got a few of them right now. We're going to share with you guys. Let's take a look at this. These are some of your highlights. Uh, let's find out who's up first. This is Nico. Phelps actually going to be taking down Olaf, and he's just backing off back. I think through the. Uh door there so that was a smart play and they're going to be falling back instead for it. Oh, oh no! Knocking out both players. Oh. One more in there! Outrageous performance from Fur. They just lined up for it. That was purely robotic wasn't it? Nico is alone and with that P250 I mean you don't want to underestimate him but that is a shocking turnaround. Here he comes, one versus two. He knows where the bomb is, but so does Fur, who's just playing at CT spawn. I don't think Nico ever expects this angle from Fur. Can he complete four? There it is from behind Nico. He spins. He has a chance. Oh, and he predicts the next one. A headshot. Oh, it's a follow-up. Nico's pulled it out of nowhere. Nico, that's uh, that's spectacular, my friend. One of the easiest clutches I've ever won in my life. <laughs> <laughs> One of the easiest clutches. Well, signs of that. Um, uh, good memories of your time in, uh, in, yeah, in that I don't know what, was, I don't know what was that event. Was it in Sao Paulo? Yeah. Paulo. I think it's Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Yeah. yeah, it could have been. Yeah. In Sao Paulo. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was that was an amazing crowd as well in Brazil. That was that was. Yeah, it was wild. It was wild. It was. Because the, crowd, the crowd, the crowd were kind of like all up, kind of almost like on you. It was it was insane. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, but good memories of plays like that. I mean, you kind of go, yeah, it's one of my good moments. <laughs> It was a good stuff. Uh, it was good. It was good. That yeah. play. It was like I think like the first match as well, the first round. So it was just good to do uh, it. Like and against MIBR as well, the home team as well. So <laughs> too bad there was no crowd. Yeah, it was the first day. So yeah, Cosio just keep everyone it. would hate me. I'm quiet. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> we heard we heard a rumor from a little birdie that it's uh, it's someone's birthday today. 
It is someone's birthday. Who's? Who's? And we Who's? have got something for you here. Uh, it's Ooh. Count Zero's oh. birthday. It's being Halloween all. <laughs> so we're going to sing happy birthday to Count Zero. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Count Zero. Happy birthday to you. Big round of applause for Count Zero, there, guys. Oh yeah. Blow the blow the candles and make a wish. You got to make a wish. If it wasn't to win Blast Copenhagen, we're all going to be disappointed. Okay. Hello, NIP. How are you doing? Hello. Good, good. 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 Rez, you look, I look like your embarrassing teacher right now. You're just like, yes, miss, I'm here. <laughs> Present. <laughs> Present, yeah. Should I do a little roll call? I'd have to do it in alphabetical order, though. Lecro. Here. Plopsky. Here. Pitta. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Forrest. Mm -hmm. Rez. Present. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, Twist. Right. But can I, I don't want to talk about you being the beast from Belen, though, in Turkey. At Star oh. Series 8, though, because you were posting monster numbers. Mm -hmm. What do you put that down to? Because I know, obviously, you became a dad. So when we look at stats, say, from the major, mm. Mm. like, yeah. to be honest, you're changing nappies. You're probably not going to be able to play much of Deathmatch. So, <laughs> but now, suddenly, just what, six weeks, two months later, mm. you're hitting ridiculous numbers again. That's, that's an incredible turnaround. Thank you. So, is it is it simply a case of having more time to practice, or just uh, just a newfound confidence? What's going on? Uh, I, it's hard for me to say. I've, as I said during the major as well, even though I might have posted my wor like worst numbers I ever had, uh, it felt really good going into that major. Uh, it really did. I know yeah. people are laughing. It, yeah. it felt really good. I can't I can't say it otherwise. It felt good. Felt felt like we. It shouldn't go that bad, right? But it did, and uh, nothing really changed for me. Uh, we did the practice uh, as usual when. And I think just everything came together. I don't know what happened at the major. I think it's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Some, someone messed with our computers, I'm sure. <laughs> a twist. What's it like being a good guy of CS? Because you're a bad boy for a while, being with Fnatic. Yeah, it feels good, like having a <laughs> Swedish crowd at least <laughs> with you during the <laughs> Swedish <game. laughs> But yeah. Mm -hmm. It feels good. Yeah. Do you have to smile more often for photos and things? Like, is it slightly? You're just kind of trying to. to are you like literally <laughs> taking tips from Lecro on how to be like <laughs> an innocent, I've lovable? I've been a, like happy guy, like smiling a lot with fans and yeah. Yeah. You just had to fake it during that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it will pan out. I mean, I don't. Th I think we are the first team to have two coaches because mm. uh, he has a lot of experience. Uh, I know like other teams have uh, analytical people working around. Usually it's uh, people with less experience that want to prove themselves. Uh, Threat has a lot of experience. Um, but it's like we're trying something uh, new. Uh, he's, I think, uh, what he's good at, he's the best at it in the world. Okay. With all the respect to all other coaches, but he has, he has that strate strategic mind. Uh, I think uh, we should be really happy to have him. So, best of strategy. Better than Blade? Blade? Well, because Blade from <laughs> Na'Vi is, is kind of regarded as being being one of the most strategic yeah. minds in CS. Yeah. Uh, but you're saying better? Most. I have a lot of respect for Blade. But, but you're saying? But Threat is... Threat's a higher He's flame. a threat for... <laughs> 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 he's a threat for Blade. Right, well, let's talk about some of the maps. I'm just going to have a ch check on my computer. First up, you, you're playing a couple of overpass. Okay, we've got a nice spread. I'm quite glad that it's not Dust 2, Dust 2, Dust 2, Dust 2, which is what we saw, I think, a Blast. Maybe it was Blast LA. I can't remember. There was one Blast where there was so much Dust 2. Um, but you're kicking off with Cloud9 on overpass. Nice. You haven't played them, though, probably... For a while, you've not played this Since lineup, previous. certainly. Since we haven't played this lineup, but we no. met a blast. I guess it was the last time we met him. Yeah, was it? It wasn't even blast. It wasn't blast LA. No, I don't know. Because you guys went when we're both LA. attended. Madrid. Yeah, Madrid. Madrid. Was that? Fort That's a long yeah. time. Madrid. Yeah. So that was that was pre Daps coming in. Yeah, but it's a, it's a new lineup. I don't think we can expect too much uh, going into that that matchup specifically from them or from yourselves uh, from them I, I don't know what to expect i think we just need to focus on our game right yeah uh, we can't i don't know what to study because i think they just uh, added the sub rosa right they're not going to be the old yes. no right? so this is have, this yeah. is a no. different team so no. but we should be a okay so we pass i ain't yeah. worried 
You're happy with Overpass. You say you're happy with Overpass, you're not worried, but then you're playing Astralis on it afterwards. Which is fine. It is fine. They're not going to have time to watch your demo, at least, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> no. But you, uh, you do play Overpass. You know, Overpass is a, is a good map for you. It's a, it's a map we see you play a lot. It's a yeah. map. It's a map we see Astralis play a lot, especially at the moment, in fact. Yeah, I bet we're, we have a lot of players who, who are very comfortable uh, on Overpass, uh, which is good for us. Uh, once people get into the comfort zone, I think that's when we play the best Counter-Strike. And Overpass is one of those maps which enables players to do so. Mm -hmm. So it uh, uh, doesn't matter which team we play against. I think in general, it's a very good map pick for us. Uh, so I guess we're happy. And Astralis on Overpass is... Well, they got to be scared, man. I think we'll play them on Overpass like every Blast event. Oh. Yeah, I think so. How yeah. did it go? 16-14 win, 16-14 loss, <laughs> something like that. See, it's a good <laughs> map. It's a good <laughs> map pick. Stick around. We'll be back with Cloud9. Someone who has changed his priorities recently coming to Cloud9 is Sub Rosa. I'm coming to you really early. Instantly. We just, it's literally like I want to plunge you into the deep end and just get you talking. So, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the fact that you've been enjoying Cloud9, mate. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's quite, it's like, very cool. Yeah. I think you like the team quite a lot because I was with Launders, um, I think it was in Rotterdam um, a couple of weeks ago when, when the news broke. And uh, <laughs> I think he commented on your profile because as soon as they announced that, that yeah. you joined Cloud9, it was like Twitter rebrand, everything Cloud9. I feel like you probably have a Cloud9 bedspread at home. Uh, I Soon. It's, it's about to come. Daps, what were the things then you took away from ECS and what were your learnings in terms of preparing for this tournament? Um, I mean, we moved around a lot of spots because we're trialing Yassine and we want to make sure that he's um, given a fair shot and sort of given um, spots he's already comfortable in. Um, and we're just sort of, obviously we had one day of practice for ECS and we made some changes, so um, it didn't go well, but um, we're hoping that the changes will turn into something good here. Yeah. What are the main things that you're looking to focus on then as a team? I guess, what what is your vision for for this version of Cloud9 Daps? I'd say it's just taking it map by map and just sort of seeing where we are um, and how the chemistry with uh, Sir Rosa is going to be. Um, but other than that, we're just, you know, it's very early days. Yeah. So, yeah. And Sub, so you've been playing in the NA scene. So for... Viewers who may be following more the European se uh, teams or mixed teams, how would you describe your playstyle? Uh, more of an aggressive rifler's. Uh, I guess that's like ma my main role. That's what I've been doing. Like more of the pack and just taking control of the map. So definitely just an aggressive rifler. 
Yeah. So you're going to be opening up, opening up space. I will try to. I will try to. I'm standing up here because I'm going to add your name quite soon, Kusta, to the board. We don't know. We're going to pretend that we don't know where he's going to be because everyone knows his time right now. But you guys at home don't. So let's take a look at the VT, as we call it, in the world of media production. We get to watch you. Yeah. There we go. No way, dude. It's like the Godfather. Oh, he was born. Oh no, we missed One behind. There we go. Oh, I'm no. saying it like you're playing this live. I can't help it. Look at the composure. It's all you, right there. Wallbang? Okay. Oh, <laughs> dude, that guy surprised me. <laughs> there we go. Next room. Nice. Looks like you practiced this, Kusi. You knew the positions. Oh! Steezing that out. Okay. I've never seen a strategy before. I have never seen the get knife repeatedly. <laughs> oh! That, that was bad, man. That was oh, quick. Thanks, that kind of paid off at the end. Just let your chunks fly while you shoot everyone in the head and just sideways, bam, bam, off. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy okay. that you can't die on that map. Yeah, that is true. Oh, God. You can lose your headset, though, on this show. So here we go. Your time. Not point. <laughs> 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 We're gonna do this soon, guys. Not yeah. point four eight point two five. Are you happy with that result, Kuster? I feel like having feelings about it is a bad thing. So, what do you have feelings about in general? Do you have feelings about tomorrow playing these matches? Honestly, not really. Really? So, when I talk about, say, Liquid on Inferno, no feelings about that. Nothing comes to mind. No. <laughs> nope. Okay. Liquid boys, have you you got your cables in order? No. Nitro, flip it. You look like you've got a seatbelt on, mate. Yeah, I don't know what's going <laughs> on. Just, just over the top of the head. Uh. <laughs> he, has, he doesn't have a license. He doesn't know. Here we go. It's, what actually happens in a huddle? People just get zoned in. Just get zoned yeah, in. You talk about the game plan. Okay. Do you get hyped up? motivational speeches. Yeah? No, there's no speeches, really. There's no speeches. Okay. <laughs> Not like We're talking about, like, speeches. what? It's We're more about the like game plan. plan. Yeah. Okay. So Adrian kind of reminds you guys of what's going to happen. Reminds you maybe of the, about, like, the call. pistol. Okay. Like re reiterate the pistol or whatever. Yeah. And then like general game plan. So it's all about getting off to the best possible start and, and making a run for it. Yeah. Yeah, just mainly, make sure everyone's focused and stuff. Mainly starting the atmosphere. Yeah. Like it's uh, creating it. How is the atmosphere in the team at the moment? Horrible. Terrible. No, yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. It's been a lot better. Yeah. What do you mean by better? Why wasn't it good before? Because uh, we were losing. <laughs> Won a couple <laughs> online matches, feel good again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so basically, all you need to do is win, and then you feel good. Yeah. Okay. And you are, but that's the thing. If you if you going into a match not feeling like you're going to win, this that was the old liquid. That was the meme. I don't really want to say the meme's name, but you know the one I mean. The second place liquid. Yeah, the second place liquid. The 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 choking liquid. The liquid that got to the big stage but didn't quite win, and then you cracked that. So what are you doing to stop that from coming back? I think just starting to <laughs> accept losing, I guess. Um, before the period break, we were winning a lot, so we got used to winning, and afterwards, after the period break, we started having a rough period of time, and you know, recently we lost to Greyhound, which is a team that we think that we shouldn't be losing to. And after that, I think we started accepting that we could lose to anybody, and we started straightening up and you know, just started focusing on every little problem and going uphill from there and just, you know, be open about everything yeah. and just start fixing it. Okay. The weird thing that happened, though, more recently was the whole rumours about NAF leaving, which I saw and was like, no. What was that like for you reading that? Uh, I mean, it was a little weird. <laughs> like, uh, obviously, like, we lost the Greyhound and then we had, like, a team talk, you know, and then, like, I just went back to my room. I think it was like 3 a.m. I was about to go to bed and I read it. I was like, <laughs> all right. Where was it first published? Was it on Reddit or something? Uh, I, I, just, I, just, I, don't know, I just saw it on Twitter. We've got an announcement. We've got a big announcement. Um, and to do it, it's got to be all dramatic in that. So cue music. 
For the last year, Blast Pro Series has been doing things with cards like this one. But we've only got one card here today and we're about to find out exactly why. Because today we crown someone, we give them a big name, we let their head grow a little bit bigger and they're probably going to have to restart their hair because of it. It's slightly awkward because it's only one person. They are becoming a legend. It is Siri 2K! That's pretty cool. I, I saw Dupree get it too. Sorry. <laughs> Ruined Halloween candy. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to eat the gummies now? How does it feel to be a legend? Pretty good actually, but my score is getting worse and worse, so I don't know how I got here. Um, you're, you're, to be honest, you're all, you're, all, you're all a team of legends to me. I, I can't show bias whatsoever, but is there anyone you would like to thank as you are crowned? A legend? Uh, my team, of course. Um, without them, I wouldn't even be a legend. I think we had a great run this year, and we're just looking forward to get back to the top. Yeah. But right now, we are going to look ahead to Bahrain and the Global Finals. Cheer for Liquid. Let's go, folks. The finals have begun. It's a bit of a... Oh! <laughs> Straight from downtown. No way! We will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone, and good night. Wave Team Liquid. Woo! Bye! <laughs>